Hey guys, so quick vlog. Um, I haven't been vlogging in quite a while. I've been just really busy. Um, 12 hour days, you know, I leave the house at seven. I usually don't get home until seven after teaching and doing my own workout. Uh, and I kind of wanted to touch base because I've been missing a few workouts here and there and, and really kind of trying to concentrate on getting my eating in check and, and getting more healthy. And um, it's funny, two or three years ago where I placed my importance was really, really, really hitting it hard in the gym and, um, you know, really wanting that muscular look. And I still do. I still enjoy that. Um, you know, learning how to eat clean, calorie counting and all of that stuff. And now I feel a little more of an old hen with it, um, very much more in my comfort zone, yet still I screw up from time to time. or get off track and find it difficult to get back on track, just like everybody else. Um, but it's funny because I've also been going to physical therapy for my neck. I've got this horrible knot in my neck. And it brought up some issues. Um, I remember when I first started seriously doing heavy barbell squats, I started getting this kink in my neck and it was just kind of weird and awkward. And I ignored it and, you know, just kind of worked through it and, and been doing squats and whatnot. And not just squats, but a lot of different exercises to hit the glutes. And I'm really, really, really happy with where my glutes are and, and what I've accomplished. But I've realized, and, and my physical therapist had helped me realize, um, you know, why are you doing back squats? What is the importance of loading up the back and the spine and, and all that compression, which could be causing a lot of the neck issue? Um, she's, you know, she's like, I'm not sure, but that could be one of the causes, especially since that's where you noticed it was when you started loading a bar and putting it on your back. Um, and I thought to myself, with everything else that I do, you know, and well, let me go back. She said, because she goes, what is the purpose? And I said, well, the purpose is, you know, I'm 43 and I got a lot of junk in my trunk. So the purpose is to not let the junk hit the floor. You know, I want it lifted and bubbled and bam. And, you know, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty proud of where it is right now. And I attribute some of that to squats. But then she said, I'm sure that's not going to happen with everything that you do in the gym and, and, and all the different exercises and the way you eat, you know, your ass is not going to hit the floor. You know, you're just not going to let that happen. C could you accomplish what you're doing without loading your back? loading your spine with a barbell. And I thought about it and I thought, okay, I'm doing um, barbell glute thrusts, I'm doing the, the butt blaster where you kick the, kick the weight back. Um, you know, I do back extensions. There's a whole bunch of stuff I do that does not load up um, the spine. Uh, Bulgarian split squats with 35 pound plates on each side. You know, I, I'm hitting them pretty good. Um, no, I think I could do what I'm doing and still have the same results without that one exercise. Anyway, just a little growth spurt um, that I had along the way. You, when you get healthy and you work out and you do this and that and, and you, you get excited and all of that, you just place so much importance on what you're doing and less importance on being in tune with your body and balanced. And you guys, if you've followed me at all, know that I really work on staying balanced and you know trying to fit in that yoga which I skipped today because I had a little shop therapy different vlog anyway um, so I'm really trying to back off of having to be a certain way and look a certain way and you know hit a, a certain macro count and, and keep my calories in this little window and, and all of that um, and just be in tune with my body and so this fall, my, that's my goal, um, is to stay fit, stay healthy, stay muscular, do everything that I'm doing, but by being in tune with my body and allowing my body to speak to me. Instead of counting calories and tracking macros, I am listening to my body and when I'm hungry and what it needs. Do I need more carbs right now? Do I need to back off the carbs? Do I need more protein? I'm really actually able to, um, hear what my body is telling me. Um, in the gym, do I need to back off of this? Do I need more of this and less of that? You know, if my knee is flaring up, um, hitting the weights may be fine, but maybe back off the cardio for a little while. 
Uh, so I'm really trying to tune into my body and realize that you don't have to be perfect in every area of healthy living. You just have to be more in tune. And when you're in tune, you're balanced. And when you're balanced, that's where it all comes together. So for me this fall, um, I'm placing less importance on looking a certain way or being a certain way and rather being more in tune with my body and realizing that at 43, you know, and everybody I think should think about this no matter what your age is, but at 43 it's important for me to, you know, keep my joints intact and um, keep my muscles intact and, and be healthy because I want to do what I'm doing. I want to lift weights when I'm 68. You know, I don't want to have to stop because uh, by the time I hit 53, which is 10 years from now, I've torn up my body. Uh, so, you know, work smarter, not harder, and um, being balanced. So just thought I'd share that with you as to where I am uh, and what works for me. And um, I don't discredit calorie counting or, or any of that. As a matter of fact, it really, really taught me a lot in the beginning about food. Um, but now I feel that I'm educated enough and know enough where I, I'm doing this on my own without all of that and listening to my body. And I know when I'm overdoing it and eating for you know other reasons aside from my body's needs and occasionally that's okay. But you know, not making it excess and, and going overboard and keeping it balanced is where I am. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great week. I know I haven't vlogged in a while, and if you haven't ever seen my vlogs, I've been doing them now for a little while, and uh, I used to blog a lot, and I've lost, you know, a lot of that time to be able to do that. You know, right now I'm on a seven-minute um, vlog as to where if I were to put this together in writing form, it would have taken a lot longer. So, um, anyway, hope you guys are doing great, having a great week, and I'll see you when I see ya.